Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watt Solds, which is for last weekend, Friday through Sunday, January 20th through January 22nd. Um, I think I had sales on three platforms. I don't think I had any on Mercari. I have been very diligent about cross-listing every single day this past week. And I think it's showing. I, I've made quite a few sales on Poshmark and Mercari. I can't remember about Etsy. I don't think any on Etsy. But I forget that one quite often. Right now I'm going through, and if it's not... Um, if it's not cross-listed anywhere, I'm focusing on them, at least trying to get it to one or one or two other platforms. So that's that's my strategy for this year is to get most of my listings that are on eBay onto the other platforms also. And you know, I have criteria. Like I try not to list other than clothes, I list all clothes onto Poshmark. I try not to list things that are under $15 because at $15 is like their breaking point where they charge you 20%. Anything less, they charge you $2.95. So I try to keep everything 15 and above there. Mercari, I can put almost anything. I have not put clothes on there. If you sell clothes on Mercari, let me know how you, how you do. Should I be putting them on there also? I haven't yet, but it's probably something I need to consider at some point. And then, you know, Etsy is my vintage. Um, and I stopped any and all of the other platforms that I had been listing on Facebook and Bonanza. I might try Bonanza again, but I'm just worried that because I got the Vero on Hershey, there's no way for me, to, I, unless I end it on eBay and not try to sell it, which it doesn't seem to be an issue on eBay, um, I'm, I might get my account suspended on Bonanza. I don't know. Don't know. I can't understand why you can get a Vero on one platform, but not on another one. So, we, uh, we had our little reseller YouTuber get together last night. It was so much fun. We had three new people with us. Um, the Tennessee P Tea and Pickers. Jerry and Tim, and then we had ran into Donald at an estate sale. It was the funniest story. We're standing in line, and Jenny, a viewer, um, patted me on the back and was like, you know, asked if I was, you know, rebel. Because sometimes people look different out in public than they do on the screen. And of course, so she and I start talking, and then Don was right behind her. So then he got in the conversation, and then several people around us, we all started talking eBay and reselling and all of that. But it was so much fun last night, except we had a hard lesson on Saturday nights. If we're, not, if we're going to another town, we need to make reservations, because we ended up not being able to eat where we had planned, because it was like a two-hour, almost a two-hour wait. So we ended up somewhere else, but we had so much fun. That was, that was you know, what I look forward to is meeting with other people, talking strategies and, you know, what each of us are doing in our businesses, comparing, you know, it's not about us against them. It's about us helping as many people as we possibly can. All right, let's go ahead and get to what sold last weekend. We'll start with Poshmark. I had some good sales on Poshmark and eBay, so I was very happy. Um, Poshmark, I think this was one of the backpacks that we bought at Finders Keepers a long time ago. Paid a dollar, um, and I think I've got one left. This is a Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle backpack. It sold for $11. Not, yeah. I sold several of the, um, I'm already backtracking on what I said about Poshmark. I sold several backpacks for higher dollar. So I just went ahead and put all of them on Poshmark, just trying to get them gone because, you know, I've had them for a year. They need to be gone. I only paid a dollar. Healthy Baby Giraffe Lovey. Um, this sold on Poshmark for $13. I do send out offers a lot. So when if you've got it listed for $15 and you send out a 10% offer, which is their minimum, it does start, drop the price. But I was, I've done really well with Lovies on Poshmark. It doesn't matter that they're lightweight. Um, they tend to sell very well on there. I think I need to go into eBay 
and search by all my lovies and just automatically get all of them put over on Poshmark because I've sold quite a bit there. All right, this is a sweetheart teddy bear plush. Um, says, I love you to the moon and back. Valentine's Day, of course. It sold for $15 on Poshmark. And then I think I might have one more of these Monet trinket boxes. I, I bought quite a few of them at an estate sale for five bucks each. Um, and this was the bird bath. It sold for $61 on Poshmark. Two sales on Etsy's. I couldn't figure out if you can combine orders. I looked and looked and looked because one person bought two different things for me. They bought this Mark's tan horse figure for $35.95. And then they bought the other one that I had, which was like a, a brown one, also for $35.95. But I looked and looked and I could not figure it out. So if anybody else has more experience with than I do on Etsy, can you combine orders? Or would they have had to contact me kind of like with Makari because... I've not ever received a bundle deal on Mercari, even though they say you can bundle. Um, but could I have got somehow got that bundled? I don't know. But that was very good. I bought both of those at an estate sale. I think I bought them on half price day. They were marked like six, so I got them for three. So a very nice sale. And then eBay. Blue's Clues. I, I talked about this one the other day. A lot of these figures do really well, especially the off characters, you know. I found this green puppy dog. I knew it was the star. I think I had seen comps for like $15. I also had blue. So I just went ahead and put them together. They sold almost immediately after listing them for $19.95. And then this past week when we went to an estate sale, I bought quite a few more of these figures, including this green one again. So I think I put it with another one of the characters and I, I bumped the price up a little bit. Disney Toy Story Lotso Bear. He was 16 inches. He sold for $13. If you see in my comment, I said if he had a scent that it had faded already, be sure if you find Lotso to resell. A lot of times he has a strawberry scent to him. And if you wash it, it will go away. It didn't have one when I picked it up. So I'm assuming at some point it had already previously been washed. Um, so just make sure um, if you find Lotso to make sure his scent is still there. Or make a comment about it. Anna Lee. Um, I'm pick these up at an estate sale. It's been a while. I thought they would sell during Christmas. I sold several that I had picked up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid like a dollar each for them. Um, these two were marked 1970, so I kept them together. They sold for $21.60. Christmas sells all year long. I had somebody ask a question. I'm not sure if it was in the Facebook group or a comment on a video. Do I hold off my seasonal stuff till you know, three months before the season's about to start. And no, as I get them, I list them because you've always got people. There's certain things that I've been looking for, certain ornaments to the Fisher Price series. I'm always, every once in a while, every once in a while I go in and I search to see, does somebody have one of them that I don't have? Um, I have quite a few of them, but you know, I'm always looking to see if, you know, somebody's like, bought it and have it has it priced really cheap before the season starts. So that's just kind of how a lot of collectors are as as you are trying to find stuff. It doesn't matter um, if you're not close to that season. Just list it, list it, list it. These are um, Road Champs micro vehicles. I think I bought a large lot of these and I pulled all of the Mattel micro machines out. These were um, Road Champs, which is a different brand. Um, they've been listed a while, so when I got a $14 offer on it, I went ahead and grabbed it. Levi's men's jeans, size 38 by 30. Um, these sold $17.71. Now, I learned something last night from Trading Post Pickers because they just got brought into the new eBay international shipping. And if you don't know, Levi's is one of those brands 
that you cannot ship internationally to the European Union. There's some kind of something. Levi's will Vero you if you put international shipping on Levi's. And with the new international shipping, you can't turn it off. So what I've been doing is anything that I don't want to ship internationally, I go into the excluded countries um, section. It's like almost before you get ready to list an item, you'll see excluded countries. You can go in there, click on everything, and it doesn't um, show, it doesn't, I hope, I hope, doesn't put these items into the international shipping program. But Scott had listed this and it didn't realize um, that maybe he knew, I don't know, but he didn't exclude your the, the international shipping. But he got an email from eBay saying that they were taking his listing um, the international shipping part off of his listing. It wasn't, it, you know, it wasn't a Vero. It wasn't, you know, you've done something wrong. It was just notifying him that Levi's cannot be shipped internationally and that they were move, removing that. So I find that very positive for those people who have been worried about, you know, what about the items that I don't want to ship international because you can't turn it off hopefully eBay catches it and notifies you that it's been removed from the international shipping but you know I just tried to go ahead and get ahead of it and I do the excluded countries and I'm not had an issue yet I've got lots of Levi's listed but hopefully that helps somebody else who's worried about it um, that you're not going to get in trouble if something um, gets listed that shouldn't have been shipped international all right, this is um, a, a buyer bought two things from me. They sent offers. It was two of these teddy bears that actually are a sheriff. Um, Bariff the Sheriff by Avon and then Arts Toys. It was a sheriff plush. Offered me $8 for each, so $16 for the two plush. I was like, yes, thank you very much. Hush Puppies. Um, I got a bunch of these in that hybrid auction that I won almost over, well, way over a year ago. Um, I, they're numbered on the tag to which collection they go to. So when I had sorted through them, I put the collections, like this was collection number two. Both of these were in that series. That's how I divvied them up. Um, these two sold for $14.36. Gons, Gans, Butch Bulldog Plush. This sold instantly after I listed it. Um, I don't think I found any, so I just kind of picked a random price based on what other Gons were selling for. It sold for $12.95. Bratislava Cup from Slovakia. I'm sure I picked it up at an estate sale. I don't normally look for this kind of stuff at yard sales or very seldom do I find breakables that are, aren't broken at the bins. Um, so I probably maybe paid a dollar for it, maybe less, but it sold for $17.95. This is, I think two years ago, I went to an estate sale and bought a huge tote of just miscellaneous pieces and parts um, that were vintage action figure stuff. Um, this was one of the things that was in that tote. Um, it somehow, I came across it one day and I thought, I've not seen that um, in a while in my listing. So I went and looked and it had been dropped. So I relisted it. It still probably took another five or six months for it to sell. But it's just this little die cast metal tank from Hong Kong sold for $13.45. Aurora baby plush um, little baby girl with a heart sold for best offer of ten dollars and twenty five cents. Little beginnings love loveies I pick up most of them. Um, the little beginnings are bread and butter. Um, this one sold for thirteen dollars and forty five cents. This was just 
I don't, I think this came from the bins. It, I thought at first that it was a water baby, but it's not. It's just a little rubber squeezable doll. It was marked 1975 GC LLC. I have since found another one, which I need to get it listed. Sold for $11.66. Fur berries. I love finding them, especially the ones that are by Spin Master. They're the older ones. They, too, have a scent to them. Um, this one didn't have its original tag. I always put that in my listings. It sold for $13.45. Wild Republic Lemur, K&M also, um, sold for $9.50. Fiesta Gray Shark, I sell a lot of sea creatures. Could be for preschools, could be a child that has just become interested in this type of stuff, dinosaurs, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I tend to do really well with sea creatures. This one sold for $8.96. I've sold out. I'm not sure if this is the last one or if there's going to be another one from this week. But these were the HO scale tracks that were Bachman. We bought three cases, three boxes full of HO scale train accessories at an estate sale. I think we might have paid... $20 for one box and $15 for each, but or some kind of that. You know, I don't remember how much, but they were full of stuff. And I have sold so much of it already. Um, but these three tracks sold for $11.66. I ended up having 24 of those, so I put them in eight lots of three. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Sandra. Um, this is a Tupperware Miscellaneous Gadgets Tools. It's kind of the only way I could come up with words, my keywords for just, it was a hodgepodge of stuff. I think I had bought a huge, like a box full of um, Tupperware and I divvied it out. You know, I had certain things that I'd listed by themselves and then this was just kind of the last of it. It sold for $7.05 and I wanted to probably at this point be a good time to do my little commercial. Um, I so appreciate when people click on the links that we have down there in the picture or, you know, the banner for my videos. You know, if you go into some of these shopping um, links, affiliate, if you go into some of the shopping affiliate links um, for like the next 24 hours, you know, whatever you are purchasing, I get a small commission at no extra charge to you um, for just you going in and doing shopping through my links. I also have um, affiliate links for American Bubble Boy, the best bubble wrap that you can purchase, um, haul sale, list perfectly, and um, worth points. So if you're interested in any of them, just please go down in my comments. Use the links that Robert has down there. And like I always say, it all adds up for us. And I so appreciate all the support you guys give us. Thank you. All right. Next is these flocked red cardinal Christmas ornaments. I bought a huge box. I think two at that same sale that we bought all the um, HO scale of vintage Christmas. I ended up taking and just lotting up. I had elves and Santas and drums and wooden ornaments and just there were so many small ornaments in there um, and I've sold quite a bit of it already but I went ahead and put these cardinals all together they did have some wear to them um, I tried to show as much as I could in the pictures still sold for $15 best offer Russ Love Pets. This was just a cute monkey plush. Says, I'm bananas over you on the shirt. Um, $12.25. A lot of these I pick up at the bins, you know, for maybe 25 cents, 30 cents, somewhere in there for these small plush. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at my little favorite estate sale I like to go to. Um, probably paid a dollar or two for it, but picked it up because. I know the brand Limoges can be good. Not all of it is, so definitely check your comps. But it was just a little Limoges Artoria green egg trinket box. It was pretty small. 
sold for $26.95. Fisher Price, love, of course, but this was um, Baby Bugs Bunny from 2002, sold for $8.96. Garfield, I sell a lot of character plush, so definitely check comps. Even though this one is Toy Factory, which to me, I don't think is a very good brand, just kind of really lacks quality for the most part, I think. But they do put out a lot of character plush, so I still pick it up. $11.66 for Garfield. Rocky Mountain women's jeans. This is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. We got lucky and found several um, pairs over the summer. And now that we're sorting through all of that stuff and getting it listed, um, they're, they're selling. I've, I'm doing back and forth um, offers on a second pair right now. But this pair sold for $44.71. I just noticed I've got USA with lowercase letters. That just looks odd. Sticks out to me. Just one of those things I'm copying and pasting and not paying attention. But as far as jeans, anytime you see jeans that seem to have a vintage tag, it doesn't really matter a whole lot with the brands. Um, and especially these black jeans. We do really well with them. Smokey the Dog, Tennessee Volunteers, 1987 plush. He was supposed to have a music box or something inside of him. I didn't know at the time, but I did just say that there was a zippered area that there was nothing in it. So it was probably missing something. He sold for $53.95. And then Lovey's, again, most are bread and butter when I pick them up, but every once in a while, I talked about this in a recent video, I sold this Kyle and Dina Gray Lamb Lovey for $79.16. And then my best sell of the weekend was this. This is Rockenbach. Um, my boys had this when they were little. We loved playing with it. I bought a huge lot at an estate sale. I want to say maybe I paid $20 or $30 for a huge tote, but I've already sold the vehicles and the remotes. Um, I think I have the little console with the keys still. And then I just kind of lotted up the rest of the pieces, the, the building parts. Um, threw a kind of big price on it, I thought. And this lot sold for $80.96. So I was very thrilled with that. And another big box is gone because, you know, I'm hoping to get a whole bunch of stuff listed now that I'm feeling better. And I need the space. All right. I hope this gives you guys ideas of things to be looking for. And probably need to make this emphasis I sell a lot of plush. I sell a lot of plush that most people wouldn't pick up because they don't want to be selling eight to $12 items. But like I've shown in previous videos, I sell a lot of it, but I have a lot of it. If you've only got, you know, 10 plush listed, it might take a while to sell it unless it's something that's just highly sought after. Um, and even if you have a hundred, you know, you've it's a quantity game for me. It's a volume game because I have like 6,000 plush listed, but I also have 4,000 other things listed. And I think that's right now, I think there's two important things. Have a variety of things in your store so that if one niche isn't doing well, you've got others to back up. But I also think it's important to have inexpensive stuff. You know, somebody who's watching their money, but wants to splurge on a small toy for a child. You know, I don't mind selling six, seven, eight dollar plush. Um, it's just, for me, it all adds up in the grand scheme of stuff. I think my average sell price is $25 this past year. So, yes, I sell a lot of little, but I sell a lot that aren't little also. And so it's just, it works for me. Um, but again, everybody's got to do their own thing. They got to figure out what's 
right for them. You know, there's some people who won't sell anything if they're not going to make $20, $25 on it, where I sell a lot of $8 to $12. You know, I think it was $16,000 worth of $8 to $12 items last year. So, just wanted to get that out there. Plush is long tail, but when you have a lot of it listed, it sells on a regular basis. All right, let's get to work, right? Bye.